Welcome back to Mecha March. Okay. Yeah, if you're watching this video as it drops, it's no longer March, but I couldn't wait till next year to talk about today's subject. And if you're actually upset about this video coming out outside of March, just watch it again in March. It's gonna be in the same playlist. Anyway, thanks to the brand new Sonic Minecraft texture pack, we also have a brand new ish robot to talk about. Thanks to the amazing folks at Game Mode 1. Also, shout out to them because they actually provided me a code to check out the new texture pack both by myself and with my friends over at Sunset City. And I was able to talk to the pack's art director, Wilson, and one of their artists, Oscar, so I could get some behind the scenes details not just about the pack itself, but more specifically about one of the coolest things I have ever seen from the Sonic franchise. But before all of that, we also need to shout out today's sponsor, Factor. You guys like food, right? I hope so, you kind of need that to stay alive. Shame that it usually takes a long time to put together a proper meal and then it leaves you with a bunch of dishes and most of the fast options come at the expense of your health. Thanks to Factor, you don't have to sacrifice one for the other. Factor offers fresh, never frozen, chef created, dietitian designed, science backed, delicious full meals that are delivered straight to your door and they're ready to eat within minutes. Their menus are updated weekly with over 27 meals and 34 add-on options for you to choose from, be it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or if you're following a specific diet, be it keto, vegetarian, vegan, low calorie, they've got it covered. So skip the drive through and instead go for something that is fast, delicious, and healthy. Go check out their tasty options in my link in the description or hit up go.factor75.com and use the code FACTORSE37048. Either way you go, that'll get you 50% off your first box. And thank you all for checking out the ad and the link. Helps out your body and helps out my channel. But yeah, let's get back to it. A while back, I did a video about the first Sonic Minecraft pack, and while I wasn't a huge fan of the general gameplay, it was still incredibly impressive for what it was. Something truly unique for Minecraft, which is already impressive considering just how both its community and their creativity can be. One of the most impressive things about that pack was just how good it looked, which is why one of the largest critiques against the pack was the inability to take all of those amazing environment textures and put them in regular old Minecraft so players could create, explore, and survive in a more Sonic-fied setting. Thankfully, Game Mode 1, the folks behind that initial Sonic experience, are back with the new Sonic Texture Pack, which solves that very issue. They've completely overhauled everything in the core Minecraft game to give it a Sonic spin. <laughs> I played quite a bit of it myself, and while I'm not a big Minecraft player, I gotta say, I'm having a lot more fun this time around. That initial pack is crazy impressive for what it is. I just personally found little reason to hop back into it once I finished everything up. But now that the Hedgehog has leaked into survival and creative modes, this feels like the full and complete Sonic Minecraft experience. It's like the and knuckles to that first pack. I understand why they emphasize speedier gameplay when first introducing Sonic into Minecraft because, well, that's kind of his old thing, but the Sonic franchise has a strong visual identity, so you can't really blame fans for wanting a new way to interact with those iconic environments. And for me, it's kind of like giving the world of Sonic a new perspective. We usually play the Star Hedgehog himself, but what would this world be like for the regular furry folk? Having enemy mobs reskin into badniks gives me a better idea of how intimidating these robots can be when you don't have super speed or chaos emeralds backing you up. It also lets you murder cuckies. Finally! And this is a proper texture overhaul. They didn't just use what they had in that first pack. Game Mode 1 is aware of how tired a lot of the fan base is of the repeat environments. So while Green Hill is kind of mandatory for Sonic related stuff, they actually downplayed a lot of those designs and made something unique. This is entirely different from the textures from that first Sonic Minecraft set. So hey, that's already a step up from Sonic Team's way of doing things normally. But of course they have more than just Green Hill. This is Minecraft, which has different biomes, so of course that means they brought in different zones. Saw a chemical plant, a little bit of labyrinth, and plenty more. And from an interview I read, it sounds like they had a lot of fun with this. They thought it was really cool having these different zones kind of merge together. And I do agree, it's kind of rad. Yeah, everything looks like Minecraft, but you can almost see how Sonic's world might merge together. And of course, it is packed full of loving references to the entire history of the 
franchise. So far, my personal favorites were the reskinned turtles that now look like the sea turtles you rescue in Sonic Mania, the death egg now floats in the sky, as well as an exploding moon, an obvious reference to Sonic Adventure 2, and of course, the amazing artwork. We've got Angel Island, we've got Sonic Advance, and I gotta say that Shadow and Gerald replacing Adam and God is amazing, and this Tails doll scream painting. I... I just need this. If anyone from that team has the means to turn that into a poster, please hit me up. I need this on a wall in real life. Now, I'm not going to go through all the references and Easter eggs, partially because part of the fun is finding that for yourself. And that aside, embarrassingly, I probably can't pin all of the references off the top of my head. They went really deep with some of these suckers. And truth be told, I haven't seen all of them yet. But outside of that, there are also items they couldn't properly replace with something already existing in the Sonic franchise, so instead they'd do their best to make a Sonic-fied version of it. So for example, cows, weirdly, are not usually seen in Sonic games, at least I can't think of any off the top of my head. So they did their best interpretation of what a cow would look like in Sonic's world, and then took that design and viewed it through the lens of Minecraft, which sounds a little confusing, but my point is the team was able to get a bit creative and actually bring in some original ideas to this pack. Considering everything I've heard about Sega and how strict they can be with keeping things on model. It's nice to hear more and more that they're loosening the grip on the leashes of their colorful pack of furries. There's some cool, fun, and creative ideas here, like replacing the Ender Dragon with Eggman and Sage using the Eggmobile along with ancient tech. That's just amazing! And I can't help but wonder if that's potentially teasing what could happen in the upcoming Sonic Frontiers DLC or maybe even the next game. Hopefully they continue that story, that would be pretty rad. But yeah, as cool as all of this is and so many other things that I have not mentioned and I'm sure I'm gonna get it in the comments why didn't you say this or that and the other as cool as all of that is the clear standout for me was the amalgam mecha sonic if you're not sure what that word means basically it's a mixture and if you're a hardcore sonic fan or just notice my weird obsession every March with all these sonic robots you'll know that there are a lot of different mecha sonics out there and that's what this one robot is a mashup of every version of mecha sonic Sonic that's appeared in the games. And we will cover all of that in due time, but I think it's first important to understand what exactly is being skinned. This is actually a reskinned Wither, which is a boss that has to be summoned by the player. So you need to go out of your way to give yourself a problem. And this sucker floats around shooting its shots at whatever moves and causes a big giant mess. Apparently this is the toughest boss in the game. As I was told by Wilson and Oscar, the Wither normally has three heads, and considering all the different robots getting jammed together with this one mecha, they thought that would be the perfect skin for such an intimidating enemy. As Wilson said in my call with them, they were aiming to celebrate the entire Sonic series with this pack, and Amalgam Mecha in particular is a great representation of that legacy all within one design. And even though we are experiencing that design through the lens of the blocky stylings of Minecraft, you can clearly make out which part of the robot represents the different mechas. And also probably helps that a majority of those robots were originally crunchy little sprites, and that translates well to Minecraft. All the same, I did double check with both Oscar and Wilson just to be sure I would not be mistaken on any individual part, because when I first saw this, I thought there was no way they went as deep as they did with some of these design elements, but as Oscar confirmed for me, they did. So to break it down, Game Gear Mecha Sonic, otherwise known as Silver Sonic or Mark Zero, whatever you want to call that bot, its face can be seen on the left shoulder plate, and one of its arms has been repurposed into a tail. Mecha Sonic Mark 1 from Genesis Sonic 2 has its iconic buzzsaw on the right shoulder plate. We also have an arm and a leg from the Sonic Adventure Mecha. Yes, the one that made a brief cameo, and up to recently I had no idea what this was technically supposed to be. And they also have a rocket on the back from Rocket Metal, otherwise known as Mecha Sonic Number 29 from Sonic the Fighters. And the rest of the body consists of Sonic 3 and Knuckles Mecha Sonic Mark II, or as Oscar called it, and I called it, the Mecha Sonic. To me, that is just the best of all the mechas. And while I haven't done a dedicated video on that robot just yet, I have spoken about it plenty in all my Sonic 3 and Knuckles coverage and Scrapnik. And outside of that, for the rest of these robots, yeah, we have a video on each and every one of them if you're interested in checking that out. And apparently Wilson scoped out some of those videos 
videos while they were prepping for this design. And thank you for that, by the way. That's a huge honor. I did think the Buzzsaw shoulder blade was cool, but I would say that the Sonic 2 robot is a little more well-known considering the popularity of that game, so I thought it was weird that it only got one shoulder for representation. But as I found out, there was even more to this design than I realized. Apparently, the Wither has multiple forms, and so in turn does the Amalgam Mecha Sonic. When he is first summoned, he actually starts off in a more metallic, dingy gray, very reminiscent of Mecha Mark 1. And also, he gets a full armor set in the core game, so that's pretty cool. I slapped that on my Metal Sonic skin because I'm just a wild and crazy kid like that. But yeah, I gotta say that this color scheme is amazing. It does flash away fairly quickly and does give way to the more iconic blue, which obviously, of course, I adore, but I kind of wish we could see a little bit more of the gray model. But it doesn't stop there. As you whittle down the life bar, we get one more color scheme. Super Amalgam Mecha Sonic. An obvious choice considering the iconic final fight with Knuckles, and technically the other models get to join the Super Party. How wild is that? Last year, we had next to nothing for Rocket Metal or that mystery mecha, and now they're both in Minecraft and technically kind of have super forms as well. Yeah, that little trash pot from Game Gear Sonic 2. Look at that. It's glowing with su- I just- Oh my god. I'm a grown-ass adult, and I was losing my mind looking at this form, and god, I couldn't even imagine how I would have reacted if I was a kid. This is so cool. Made only cooler when I summoned it while I was playing with Channel Pup and Wayne as boss inside of Wayne's super elaborate cathedral thing. Looks like he spent a super long time on it, and he just recently rediscovered it after a decade. Uh, then we had Amalgam just destroy the whole thing. Look, Wayne built a giant lava room. How am I not supposed to have a boss fight here? It was awesome. I had my Metal Sonic skin on. And jack, jack, just throw all the action figures into the pile. It's amazing. But the fun does not end there. Because Oscar and Wilson had one more amazing thing to share with me. As many of my longtime viewers may know, I've been on a lifelong hunt for some detailed concept art of Sonic 3 & Knuckles version of Mecha Sonic. It's never surfaced. I've literally as people who have worked on Mecha Sonic in comics and now in games, and all of those folks have had to work off of the sprite art from Sonic and Knuckles. If you don't understand why that's a big deal, just to give you an example, we also only recently got the full detailed design of Metal Knuckles. We only ever saw in a low poly format and a blurry little portrait image from Sonic R. But thanks to Sega allowing the IDW team to see the concept art from Metal Knuckles, we finally got to see the detailed designs of that robot for the very, very first time. And when you look at the sprite work for Mecha Sonic, clearly there's a lot of detail involved there. But unfortunately, my search continues. From what I could gather from everyone I've spoken to, it's likely that concept art doesn't exist, or at the very least, doesn't sound like Sega has archived it, which is a shame. But who knows, maybe an old concept artist will pop up on Twitter with some random stuff. That happens every now and then. But the point is, I I'm a big sucker for the concept art because we get details we would not see otherwise in core games and that is especially true when it comes to a Minecraft design. And as cool as this is, it's too cool just to stay in block form. So I was hoping beyond hope that Oscar, who initially designed this, had something before it was made into a pile of blocks and thankfully he did. And they gave me the A-OK -okay to share it with you guys. Just look at this. Look at it. What an absolutely gorgeous design. Yeah, it's true, we don't have the S3K concept art to work off of, but that hasn't stopped incredibly talented artists from interpreting that killer set of sprites, and Oscar is no exception. As you can see, they did swap some parts around when they translated it into the finalized skin. Mark Zero is repped by an arm, Mark One now takes up both shoulders, and also the chest piece, kind of giving this a football padding look. I just really love Love how this is laid out. This one single sketch was my ultimate goal when I first saw the Amalgam Mecha Sonic on Twitter. And when I reached out to Game Mode 1, I didn't expect much of anything, but man, I am so 
thankful they were willing to share this. I've got a long history of wanting to see detailed works of this robot, and we don't need to wait 20 years to see what this would look like if it wasn't made out of blocks. And it's so awesome they were willing to share it, not just with me, but with the entire Sonic community. Oscar clearly is a big fan of this series, and Wilson, who played the games as a kid, fell back in love with the franchise while the team worked with Sega that first time around. And that passion and talent clearly comes through. And you know what? At the same time, Game Mode 1 has made me a Minecraft fan. Yeah, I'm still very green with this. I have a lot to learn. But this pack, with all these crazy ideas, all of this was enough to lure me in. And again, while I'm still struggling with the survival, I'm still having a fairly fun time while I'm learning the ropes. Yeah, I still get frustrated it's Minecraft, but I found myself wanting to go back after I finished getting footage and playing with my boys over on Sunset City. I yearn for the mines. And hey, quick plug, if you want to see any of those shenanigans, I'm sure there will be plenty of those streams over on Sunset City. I know plenty of my folks over on my Discord server have been wanting a proper Minecraft server as well, so what the heck, let's just keep this train going. But all of that said, yes, I think this robot is a brilliant idea. It's the kind of cool things you would think of as a kid, like what if I could mash up all these different robots into one thing, which obviously is perfect for the creativity that is inspired by the likes of Minecraft. And it doesn't hurt that this idea is backed up by the insane artistic skills of Oscar, Wilson, and the rest of the crew over at Game Mode 1. And also a shout out to Crimson Crow who did this amazing piece of the finalized design. They not only made this a reality, but this is also an official Sonic thing. It's a part of the franchise now. And selfishly, I hope they do more with Amalgam Mecha Sonic. Don't get me wrong, I love Scrapnik Mecha Sonic, and I'm still so thankful that story was ever even published. But yeah, Amalgam has that fanboy's juice flowing. Consider the storytelling potential. What if Mecha made his way back to the mainland? Or what if he found more busted Mechas on Scrapnik and he had to replace some parts after a big heated battle? Or what if those separate robots had their own identities? Would Mecha just use the other replacement parts for armor? Or maybe the programming would combine and there'd be a split persona situation? Or for gameplay, maybe this could be a boss fight in a different Sonic game and it mixes up the moves of the different robots? I don't know! I just love this so much! I I do hope we see more of this, but this is already far more than I ever expected. When I started the Mecha March Madness Marathon, I just wanted to gush about all these weird and creative ways that Sonic has been reinterpreted as a robot over the years. I never expected that we would find more information on weird little cameos or see a redemption arc for one of the coolest robot designs ever, or an action figure of a clunky robot that you fought at the end of Sonic too. And I certainly never expected to see all of them merged into one and utilized in such a cool way. What a genius way to celebrate the legacy of this franchise and these robots and recycle them into something truly unique. So yeah, don't have a whole lot else to say right now, but I hope I have more to say in the future. This was really cool and I had a lot of fun putting this video together. So I hope you had a fun time watching it. Thank you again to Game Mode 1, not only for the codes and for letting me see this behind the scenes stuff, but for putting something together that truly celebrates the fans and gives me an excuse to finally properly check out Minecraft. And thank you all for watching, and thank you to all the patrons who help support this silly channel. I'm sorry if you're hearing any tip tapping around, my dog's walking around making a scene, just have to deal with that. But anyway, let's shout out these fine folks right here. Kyle Winter, Cirrus the Skeptic, Joseph Duncan and Sonic 2 Blue, John, Josh Strider, Amalgam Monroe, Hatsworth, Tiny Jericho, Ginger Bob, Jack of All Spades, Tristan Trap, Meekers, Dun Dun, Quote, Resident Fanboy, Miles the Prower, Jeremy Singer, Mr. Bouge, Sam Webster, Fish Flop, Lucas Lipker, The Bad Pal, Jonathan Dobbs, Haley, Dr. SP, here is your PSA for the week. Summer is officially here. Go enjoy the nice weather before it gets too hot. And too late, Doctor. Cecil the Glade, The Dark Neon, Stefan Plakonica, Three Monic, Graham J. Hall, Lenny X, Wayne is boss, Lederick, David 20, cover your face this season as Pawn is getting worse and worse. Oh gosh, please help. Also, hi Nicholas. There's no H in my name, but thank you, David. Hello. Jimmy Duke, STR, The Lumberjack, NBTV, Trash Baphomet, Autumn from Twitter.com, Jim Sayotome, Bowden, 
I'm not reading that. Enerjack 5, Grayson Conagher, Spades the Nocturne, Ken K, Ven 101, Paxton Bisbee, Sindarin 7, Heruspex, 3 Rule 4, Twilord. I love the Boss Baby movies. I'm their biggest fan. Congrats on the Venom Toes, by the way, Adzinko. Paisley, Eric Delgado, Kodinsky, Jamo Art, Sayonara Robocop, Crimson Rose, Give Up Your Children, Separate, Sonic P.A.J., Municent, Roxas the Cat, Godzilla, Makuta of Salt, Gleam the Anomaly, Alexander Watson, Neil Gompa, Conan Kudo, Sharif Pai, The Lex, The Most Powerful Ship in the Two Universes, Native Nerd 27, Kaido Prower, Swift Cannon, Spearmint, Gender Swap Tales as the Best Female Sonic Character, and I Will Fight You If You Claim Otherwise, Omega Man 21, Pen Adelaide, Other Envelope, Jamie Torres Jr., Broski, and The Phantomist. It is always an honor reading this list off. Thank you guys so much. I still can't believe, even all these years later, that I've got these folks backing me up just for talking about a silly blue hedgehog. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for letting me have this incredible job, and I will see you all soon. Toot toot, Sonic Warriors. Toot toot, Sonic Warriors.